My name is Derek Frankowski. I'm a photographer and now a filmmaker. I'm working on the project Life Cycles with my business partner, Ryan Gibb. For the last 10 years or so, most of my work has appeared in Bike Magazine. I'm a senior photographer for Lil's Cats. I met Ryan and we started talking about filming and I, it really interested me and a lot of the stuff that I, that I realized, a lot of stuff that was inspiring me at the time were films, not photographers. So uh, diving in to make a film just made a lot of sense to me. Hi, my name is Ryan Gibb. I'm the other half of uh, Life Cycles. I've been shooting since 2003, basically. It all started with a movie called Suspect. Then I decided to go to film school after that. And after graduating from film school, I was actually able to work for Red Bull on a couple of gigs. And I actually helped work on a Travis Pastrana movie called 199 Lives. After that, I went straight into Life Cycles. So our whole philosophy behind Life Cycles has been to spend time, not money. We live in British Columbia, so we have access to all these epic locations, and we're just able to go out and shoot when the light's right. We have a clear vision of what we want to do with this movie, and for us, it's just a matter of making that vision a reality. We're trying to look at all these different parts of mountain biking and what inspires people to bike or what inspires people to do anything. You definitely have succeeded if someone can go to their local trail that they've been riding for 10 years and they just watched our film and all of a sudden they're seeing it in a different angle. That's our goal, really. I can make that promise that this film is going to be very different than any other mountain bike movie that's out there. So here we are in Vancouver, we're just shooting uh, the title sequence for Life Cycles. It's been a little bit crazy, rainy, all kinds of weather, nasty, crazy people, good times. Alright, Vancouver, British Columbia, title sequence take 72. We're here, we got a truck, sweet truck from Mike. Perfect, thanks man, thanks, cheers. Enjoy. Yeah, we'll see you soon. And Andre's shredding it, but if the guy that rents, you know, Mike, if you see this, the guy we rented the truck from, he's not shredding it hard, you know, just a close call with the cops, eh? There's a lot of, a lot, a lot of adversity to face. Okay, yeah. Um, Instead of waiting for clouds and sun, you're waiting for cars and crazy people. All connected with power with people do A lot of fun. I think the shots are turning out pretty cool. I can tell sometimes when they're turning out good for Gibb, he looks happy or sad. He's very wears it on his face, you know? You know when it's going right. Veins popping out of his head. My balls are tingling. A little craziness yesterday with Gibb being in the back of the truck with the steady cam mounted to him. Sorry, the Basson stabilizer. So uh, Basson was kind enough to hook us up with a, a steady cam, and so here we are. It's pretty serious. Oh, heavy that is. The cigarette lighter, what's that do? That's sci-fi. That's level. This is gonna take us hours to put together. <laughs> we can't do this during the daylight hours. We gotta do this at night, man. So I can feel the weight already. Other springs. This is gonna be super heavy. Yeah, man. Take off. You have no idea what's moving. Holy shit! I'll We have to do it right now. Okay. We're getting winded out. So, my brother has come through finally after 31 years being a brother. Some solid news. 
that uh, he has a friend that does window washing and the guy just happens to work on the tallest building in Vancouver and he is going to sneak us up there Sunday afternoon so I can shoot off the window washing unit 60 stories above our scene. Now, the key to these situations is to keep your cool or you'll miss the shot. Yeah. Janelle's been up here for a bike film. That I know. We got a cool shot though. And I think it's gonna be badass. And it's gonna show people something cool and something that a lot of people hopefully can relate to that uh, live in the cities. 